the footprints of a yellow-eyed penguin at the Long Point colony in the Catlins. But tracks like these are becoming a rarity, with local penguin numbers plummeting from 50 to just 17 in the past five years. Yellow-eyed Penguin Trust member Alan Burgess says when they acquired the site nearly 10 years ago, a deer fence was put up to keep sheep away, with the idea of returning it to nature. The sheep have got to come back in, open up the tracks. Um, yeah, it's, it's just too easy for the predators to, uh, to hide now where they couldn't before. He says the well-intentioned but misguided activities of the Trust have actually contributed to a decline in numbers of the nationally endangered species. And he's frustrated with his concerns being ignored. I can't understand why this group has got a separate agenda. Uh, detrimental to the welfare of the penguin colony that was here. He's raised the issue with the advisory group he's on, but has been told there's a lack of scientific evidence on the effects of long grass on penguins. But similar nesting locations, like the one at Moiraki where sheep continue to graze, remain well populated by breeding pairs of penguins. Um, their success with the penguins really astounded me and I thought it was marvellous. They did everything right. Uh, they opened up the, the bush, coastal scrub, they opened that up and they had no long grass for predators to hide. The Trust has been presented with his concerns. They issued a statement saying there is an advisory group that Alan is a member of and to which he contributes. His contribution will continue to be welcome and appreciated. In Belclutha, The South Today.